you. In the meantime, Madam President, uh, I move to transfer from the calendar for ordinary business to the calendar for special orders, House Bill 5608 under Committee Report Number 154. Madam President, Madam President, distinguished colleagues, I have the honor to report to the Senate House Bill Number 5608, which seeks to reapportion the province of Palawan into three legislative districts. The province of Palawan is known to be the country's last ecological frontier. It is also considered as an environmental haven because it is richly endowed with countless and wonderful marine and terrestrial resources. Palawan offers serene and peaceful surroundings for all domestic and international travelers and tourists. The province of Palawan, including the city of Puerta Princesa, has a total population of 994,340 based on the 2010 census of population and housing. At present, the province of Palawan, which is the longest province in the Philippines, has two legislative districts. House Bill 5608 proposes to create one additional legislative district to consist of the city of Puerto Princesa and the municipality of Aburlan, to be known as the 3rd Congressional District of Palawan. The city of Puerto Princesa and the municipality of Aburlan have a population count of 254,000 883 based on the 2010 census. Under the post proposed measure, the municipalities of Agutaya, Araceli, Buswanga, Cagayancillo, Coron, Coyo, Culion, Damaran, El Nido, Dinapacan, Magsaysay, Rojas, San Vicente, Taytay, and Calayaan should continue to comprise the first legislative district of the province. Of the, province. the first district has a population count of 385,593 based on the 2010 census conducted by the NSO. The proposed second legislative district shall be composed of the municipalities of Balabac, Patarasa, Brooks Point, Nara, Quezon, Rizal, and Sofronio Española. The proposed second district has, has a population of 353,865 based on the NSO 2010 census. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the city of Puerto Princesa has, has been declared a highly urbanized city on July 10, 2007 through proclamation number 1264 issued by then President Arroyo. The Puerto Princesa Underground River in Puerto Princesa has been declared as one of the new seven wonders of the world. The Sangguniang Bayan of the Municipality of Aburlan have expressed its support for the passage of the proposed measure with the hope that it will bring the much needed concomitant development to their locality. The 1987 Constitution, particularly under Article 6, Section 5, subparagraph 1, mandates that the House of Representatives shall be composed of not more than 250 members, unless otherwise fixed by law, who shall be elected from legislative districts apportioned among the provinces, cities, and the metropolitan Manila area in accordance with the number of their respective inhabitants on the basis of a uniform and progressive ratio and those who, as provided by law, shall be elected through a party list system of registered national, regional, and sectoral parties or organizations. Furthermore, Article 6, Section 5, subparagraphs 3 and 4 of the, of the 1987 Constitution provides, amongst others, that each legislative district shall comprise, as far as practicable, contiguous, compact, and adjacent territory. And, within three years following the return of every census, the Congress shall make a reapportionment of legislative districts based on the standards provided in this section. The rule on a reapportionment is based on the principle of equality of representation. This means that larger provinces or representative districts should be entitled to more representatives in Congress. With the increasing population of the province of Palawan and the categorization of Puerto Princesa City as a highly urbanized city, the Palawenos deserve a, an additional seat in the House of Representatives after having complied with the above quoted constitutional mandates. It is for this reason, Mr. President, that I earnestly request my colleagues in this august chamber to join me in approving House Bill, House Bill 5608 under Committee Report 154. Thank you and good morning.